When I started out in MS, we had uh, only a handful of medications, and these medications were only modestly effective at treating the disease. That has changed now, and I think that's the biggest change that I've seen. Now we have over two dozen approved therapies for multiple sclerosis, and those therapies are highly effective treatments. Many times in multiple sclerosis, we think about treatment options, and we use them in somewhat of a co cookie cutter fashion. That is, we recommend very similar treatments to all patients. However, we know that individualized treatment options are probably best for people with MS. In the session related to personalized treatment strategies for multiple sclerosis and related to myelinating disease, we will specifically be covering this topic. We understand that there are some things that can be tailored to an individual patient, which will allow us to better treat individuals with multiple sclerosis. This can occur in one of two ways. On the one side, the session will cover somewhat more forward-thinking scientific avenues that might identify specific biomarkers, blood biomarkers, imaging biomarkers that will allow us to better select treatments that probably aren't ready for clinical practice. But on the other hand, we have two invited scientific talks that are going to be covering very pragmatic ways of individualizing and tailoring treatment for multiple sclerosis. We hope to bring the audience two components, one very pragmatic things that you can do in your clinic to actually tailor treatments for MS, and secondly, to actually look for what are the forward-thinking scientific concepts we need to bring to individualized tailored treatments. For those young clinicians who are looking to start careers in multiple sclerosis, I think the most important thing is really to ground yourself in what is important for people with MS. I think for us spending time in clinic and understanding what are the unmet needs of people with MS is probably the first and most important step. Many times, uh, the pathway of research is fraught with complications, with problems, challenges that need to be overcome. Thankfully, we have people with MS that day in and day out will remind you of why you're doing the research you're doing, why you need to overcome these challenges.